You know what's weird? That song would play so differently now. <laughs> yeah. And we have music playing, just so you yeah. know. Yeah. It, it makes it black and blue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, our music is playing. We're deep. We're in. Not even in my head. <laughs> We didn't get the, hey, you guys ready? The guy comes in here, does everything he wants. And yeah. then suddenly it's like, oh, you guys aren't ready? Yeah. <laughs> you had plenty of time to get ready while I was cleaning. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to That Checks Out with Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes him Damon. It does. I had, I to, like wrap it. It. I had to wrap it up. The song yeah. was over. Yeah, we can't so tell you. we playing for nine we, minutes. We can't tell you where we're at. You already got the long version of the opening. You're so talking about what it is. making your brown eye blue. Right? Yeah, we were. I yeah. had no idea we were on. Is that Linda Ronstadt, I think, right? Or was that Crystal Gale? It was one of them. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, we had a we had a great opening that probably should have never been recorded, but it's okay. It's all right. So, uh, hey, I, I'm, thanks. I'm buttoning up to the top button. I don't feel Thanks safe. for asking. My week, this is what I did. <laughs> uh, yeah, I knew you had stuff to talk about. That's why I didn't want to ask. I'm, d- I'm delaying it as long as possible. I'm sorry. Hold on. With Damon and Ted. I'm Ted. That makes him Damon. Damon, how was your week? I mean, you can cut that from like 130 other episodes. I feel put I it f- in there if you I f- want. I feel like that was forced. I really, I really it's feel forced like every week. <laughs> <laughs> I never care. I don't yeah. care. I've never cared how your week goes. It, it's being polite. It's supposed to be a rhetorical question. If you don't answer it, I would be quite happy. So, uh, uh, a couple th- quick things. I was asked to to uh, MC. To DJ. Yeah. You can't see it, but he's <laughs> yeah, literally yeah. he's where 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 on where the table party, right now. Where are my people? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. You were asked. Where my Jesus people? That's what it was because I was at church. So no, I, I they did a, a great performance for Christmas two nights, and uh, they asked me to uh, MC it, which uh, everyone agreed. <laughs> you still playing it? <laughs> just, just enough to not get sued, right? Uh, everyone agreed. That was the HBO theming for those uh, that, that didn't know. Is that the HBO theme? Was it? Yeah. Was it Mac? Was that the HBO theme? I don't know. I All was right, four. So, so anyway, they asked me to do this, and what's funny is as I get there and uh, and I'm dressed in a shirt and tie. Uh, people are like looking at me and, uh, and then they get the program. They're like, Oh, they're like, wait, they're giving you a microphone in church. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. just half of that sentence is wrong. <laughs> and then the end of it is like, we're, we're doubling down on this. Whoa. We're giving him a microphone and in church. Yeah. <laughs> wait, how do you say it? We're giving him a microphone. Hard stop yeah. right there. <laughs> we're giving a microphone. Question yeah. mark. Hard, hard stop. Yeah, good. <laughs> question mark. Hard yeah. stop. Yeah. So this is like the one of the ads we read. There's two question marks in this. We'll put them both at the end. <laughs> you put them where you think they go. All right. I think they both go under. <laughs> yeah, yeah. After microphone. <laughs> but uh, no, it was, it was really fun. And it was very weird to be in an, in an element where, um, cause this is, this is PG 13 at worst. You know what I mean? This, this, what we do for the podcast, yeah. but I had to be somewhere between like, uh, G and PG, you know, and, uh, and, and it went really well. It was really fun, but I will say it kept me up later than I normally stay up. 930. Yeah, I did. I got home. Well, but then you're wired. You know what I mean? So I, I, Oh, every time I do a church show, I am yeah. wired. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This was I, in your town. You know how many times I get I, I'm wired while I'm in Wisconsin. Right. I have to drop. I have to stay awake for over an hour to get home and be like, and now it's tomorrow. Yeah. So it was funny though. I woke up this morning and I put. Uh, Sadly. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes a bragger, Damon. Nobody likes a bragger. But I woke up and I put uh, hand soap on my toothbrush. <laughs> yes. I've been no. with you for over an hour, and this is the um, first time hearing yeah. of it. Yeah, so well, I wanted to catch you off guard. And yeah, no, yeah. totally did. So anyway, it it is really true. That's what I did. No, I well, did not put it in my mouth. I caught myself as I was doing oh, it. Oh, see, I thought maybe Jesus was punishing you for what you said <laughs> in church. <laughs> right, right. Using you as the vessel. No, you shall eat I will soap. use him as the vessel to punish him <laughs> yeah, for what he said right, in my house. Right. Right. He and, and Honestly, it, it might have just been, Nicole might have put uh, hand soap in the toothpaste. I don't I have no idea. But anyway, I put it on. I'm catching myself. And I'm like, oh, and so now I have a real question for you. That tra- that toothpaste that toothbrush goes in the trash. How many rinses does it take until that? I, I don't gone? know because that goes. You know what? You know how many free toothbrushes I get from the dentist? Yeah. <laughs> so I can tell you right They're now. They're like here. Uh, just have this grab bag. Why are there nine toothbrushes yeah. in here? Well, I was still kind of in like a standing coma doing that this morning, and uh, I can I can confidently confirm it is not three. <laughs> it is not three rinses before that goes away. So now, it was now, bad. Now Mac, he did this. Thir- it was Thursday and Friday? Thursday and Friday. Thursday yeah. and Friday. So, yeah, he does it. He's like, I got to do all this again tomorrow. I'm like, yes, welcome to how it works. Yeah. <laughs> you throw everything out there. Sometimes yeah. you have to do it the same night. You throw everything out there. You have a great yeah. thing. And you're like, I have 45 minutes and I got to be up there again. Yeah. So, well, the one and thing. Now he's like, I was so tired. Yeah. <laughs> 
I almost stuck the toothbrush in my navel. I got. I was out of there at nine thirty, and I had to drive five minutes home. Man, I can't believe this. Who treats people like this? I was so tired by the time I got off stage. My hot chocolate was Luke <laughs> Duke. It was Luke. It was, Duke. It was Luke chocolate. <laughs> so, uh, how about uh, how about you? Anything interesting happened this week? Uh, I was traveling. Yeah, did not lose my wallet. So that's that's not that's very positive. Exciting. Yeah, it's positive. Hey, the um, places you stay, do they have, like, indoor pools? Like, can you, like, go swimming and stuff? During yeah, the- and I have occasionally. Yeah. Sometimes I do. I haven't done that in a couple of years, though. I mean, you normally know if they have a pool when you walk in the lobby. Yeah. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Either this place now, was rancid and you just cleaned it, or you have a pool. Yeah. This must have been, I must, I told you about Oklahoma City, right? Where we yeah. use the the uh, exercise, no, the treadmill. Oh, yeah, yeah. The treadmill, the stuff I was could broke. not yeah. get it working. Yeah. yeah. And then I walked into the one today, and I was like, oh, they just buy these in bulk. Yeah, because it was the same stuff. I didn't try it, but it was the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, if it's is it the same hotel chain? Uh, it was it was the same parent. It wasn't okay. like this. Okay, so they may honestly yeah. like yeah, like the yeah. same parent. Yeah, uh, I went out with some of my coworkers, for, and one of them was late, and they said, "Oh, I should text the other one to let us know, let them know where we're sitting." I'm like, oh, don't worry, I'll take care of it. <laughs> And we were in Cedar Cedar Rapids, <laughs> Iowa. So we're at we're at a Perkins because it's late because they roll up the sidewalks at noon at Cedar Rapids, right? It was the only place that was going to be open. I should do a church show there, yeah, right? I would. Be, I almost I, would be fine. I almost bought muffins. I should have. Cause, yeah, yeah. You shouldn't have said you were at Perkins, but yeah. yeah. Well, now now this is getting out. Yeah. But anyway, I said, "Don't worry about it." They came in, and I was like, "Hey, you made it! We're over here." <laughs> Come on down. It's fun. And they, the people around I'm like, just don't bother with you. It's not about you. We're just letting them know. Because they knew they were in trouble. So I walked in and I was like, so just a real quick question to the hostess that's eating this. She's like, yeah. I was like, do these pies come with the cloches? Because <laughs> nice. they're under the cloche. Yeah. And it'd be kind of false advertising for you to tell me it's this price yeah. and not include the furniture it's sitting in. Correct. Yes. <laughs> you know what? Who doesn't need one of those around their house? Right. Get, for sure. It, it's really you just never a, know when you're going to need a cloche. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's weird? It's similar to a duvet. I just learned what the word was for it. <laughs> yeah, you can see him frantically over there, like typing into his phone. Yeah. I'm just going to keep Ted talking until I figure out what cloche means. Damn airplane mode. I can't even Google anything right now. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> uh, so, we were like, I was telling stories and stuff, and they were... Uh, do they all know you have a podcast, or do they not? Well, that's a good point, because then I was at another place mm-hmm. with, with Alex. We've spoken about Alex. I, the, yeah. our, my mega fan now. There. Yeah. Not yours. Mine. Yeah. And I'm one of, one of his other coworkers, and she, she's like, you have a podcast? And I was like, Alex, <laughs> you're just keeping that to yourself? <laughs> so he was there? Yeah. It was his, oh, it was his location. Well, that's then I walk awesome. Around, I walk into the, uh, into the office, and the manager has uh, our joint business card with both of our cartoon faces on it. Yeah given to us by Timmy Blaze. Thank you. And then the one with me in the in the leprechaun suit. Yeah. Please come to my shows to find out what that means. But it has our QR code on the back. And then another one in the middle. And I was like, uh, yeah, did you? She's like, oh, that was that's you? <laughs> I'm like, I don't look that much different. Just, from, I mean, I know I don't look like the child anymore, but the one of us, like in the... If we can agree about anything, though, and everybody that's listening can agree, we're like carrot cake. It's hard to share us. You know what I mean? You just, you sit down, you enjoy us. Do you? Do you have carrot cake? Uh, no, I do not. Thank you for asking, though. <laughs> so, this delicious carrot cake you speak of. No, no, no. We're not delicious carrot cake. We are carrot cake. Just so everybody knows, there's not a bad carrot cake piece I've ever... I've still finished them. Yeah. Because nobody likes yeah, a quitter. I've never not finished a yeah. carrot cake. Yeah. Was that not, good? Not a piece. A uh, carrot no. cake. Yeah. Was that good? This not at all. the worst carrot cake I've ever <laughs> had. Let me try it. No. <laughs> I don't have any extra. <laughs> they didn't bring me an extra piece. <laughs> this is my piece of carrot cake. So, uh, you know what? And real quick, we went out... Um, I went out with my parents. We stopped to get something to eat uh, at a at a at a big chain restaurant, and uh, the lady comes out. and It's funny they they were promoting. They had like cinnamon cinnamon roll hot chocolate or coffee cinnamon roll latte, right? Okay. And and I and I go, oh, you'd like that. And the lady goes, yeah, the machine that makes that's broken. Now we're not at McDonald's, but we're at a, at a restaurant. And she goes, the machine that makes that's broken. I said, oh, I says, Ma, look, they got blackberry iced tea. And she goes, uh, she goes, we, we don't have that anymore. We're actually going to change the menus. I said, okay. <laughs> so let's start with what you do have. Yeah. So I told her, I said, if you'd like to narrow it down to the things that we can get off of this yeah. menu, I would appreciate it. And she kind of laughed, but I'm like, I- I'm kind of being serious. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, but- jokes aside, Carol. Yeah. We want to know. Well, you, you, you were talking about cinnamon roll. I was at, uh, 
Cracker Barrel. I went. I went there with. Surprisingly enough, that's the chain I was speaking of. Okay, well, yeah, <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say, it, but I went there with uh, yeah. with Big mm-hmm. Nate on the way back from Chad Show. Yeah, we we tried to go to the Machine Shed, and it was like after it was at ten o'clock, and the guy was like, "Oh, it'll be forty five minutes." And then so we're like, "Okay, I guess." I mean, we're we're not a place we get to go off, and we walked over into the little shop. We're looking around. And someone was like, "Hey, are you guys gonna have breakfast?" By the time you get a seat, and the guy was like, "Uh," and Nate and I were like, "We're gonna go." Yeah, <laughs> just right. walked out. But I was like, on their menu, their special menu, which probably where they have that cinnamon roll coffee, they yeah. have cinnamon roll pie. Okay. And it's literally just like, you know how you take the tube of cinnamon rolls and put them in a circle pan? Yeah. That's what it looked like. And they were just cutting it into wedges. And I was like, so you're going to charge me eight and a quarter for just a <laughs> slice of what I could make at home for a nickel? <laughs> for a dollar twenty-five right. tube of, of yeah. Pillsbury cinnamon rolls? Yeah. Hard pass. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm literally getting like a like an eighth of all of the cinnamon rolls when yeah. I can just have one full one at home. Can I can I go to the old country buffet? And where, I, and I'm, always, I'm not trying yeah. to disparage them in a some store kind of yeah. No, I understand kind of thing, but it was just like what a weird yeah. But no, uh, we you know, like someone walked in with those for their yeah. for their like for their coworkers, and they were like, we can make that into a so, pie. So now that we've totally ranted off, what got me on that was when you said share care cake. I go, <laughs> she goes, we have strawberry lemonade. I said, oh mom, you like that? She goes, let me bring you a sample. So I thought I should just be like. How's your carrot cake? Can I just get a sample? You know what I mean? <laughs> Bring a sample for everyone at the table, okay? And then I just take all those, <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> I know that work. I know. A, well, I know a guy that used to go to the uh, Olive Garden. Yes. And they were like, can we give you a sample of the wine? And he was like, sure. And they would give him a pour and he would, you know, drink it. And they're like, did you want a full glass? He's like, no, I didn't care for it. <laughs> but he would do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> so he'd get a little shot of wine, whatever, for free, whatever he went to the garden. Nice. Little OG sneak there. Either that or you keep the cup, you're like, I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to have it with my dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting it breathe. Yeah. Hold on. This is, seems to be more of a dessert wine. Yeah. <laughs> I will have it with my cinnamon roll pie. <laughs> Sir, this is the Olive Garden. You're going to need to go to the Old Country Buffet for that. <laughs> They're all right across the strip. It's right there. I can yeah. see it. Hey, I'll run over and grab you a slice. <laughs> That'll be $14. Take, yeah, take them some breadsticks. <laughs> yeah, right. And bring back. Yeah, do a little swap. But uh, A little swap <laughs> So, hey, I, I did, uh, I was perusing the uh, the old uh, tread flicks. All right. Okay. And I did not know, they're still making 90, uh, uh, 60 days in that show where they Oh, used- yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, okay. they, where they put... But they put like volunteers yeah. to go. Yeah, to go in and see how the oh, prison like, works or doesn't hey, work. Uh, we have a government spending and budget, but I need you six strangers to go in and tell me if there's drugs and contraband and murder and yeah. going on to the jail. Like, oh, okay, I'll do that. Yeah. No. What do you think the warden's doing with all that A and E money? Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> He's like, we got budget cuts. I got a big bonus this year from the A and E. It was. I nice. saw. I saw one season where a guy was a former prisoner goes in within three days. He's suddenly running the ward. <laughs> Yeah, and they were they were like, yeah, we were a little concerned throwing in a, a former guy in there, but it was literally, he, he, and they almost thought he was going to revert back, then. right? Yeah, because he was like really digging it, like I am in charge, I have this. Yeah, you you are correct, but and, like, the, well, the A and E interviewer company is like, you don't step to me, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or step back, A and E. But but don't you think at this at this time at this point in time, there is zero probability that they don't know they're filming a show when they put i mean i know they put cameras everywhere i get it but when you have new cameras coming in and then i think their their cover was they said look we put the cameras in but we don't send our our people in right away cool then you got six other people shanked that went in they got incarcerated that day got out of court went in there and they went oh these are our these are our booze this is who's coming in here (laughs) you know what i mean so the same thing that happened to undercover boss after like four years they're like I guess Canada. Yeah, <laughs> we could try Canada. Right? Do they right. know us up there? Right. <laughs> they're they're all subtitled. Are you in Italy? I'm not going to watch this if you're in Italy. I'm Italian and I don't want to read subtitles. All right, but uh, but no, I really thought they should just call it like sixty seconds and shanked. You know what I mean? Right. Or Survivor. Yeah. You know that's because you're really tipping off. It's like, hey, we have all these new cameras coming in, and we don't want you to think anything about it. But here's yeah. six new people. We, we we didn't bring the same six all on the same day, so they wouldn't know. We brought in five on Monday <laughs> and one on Tuesday. <laughs> and by the time the one got there, the five were dead. And they're like, I want to go. I want, I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out. You know? Yeah, they do that thing where they have to like like hold their arm up and grab their like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arm. Yeah. No, they hold their hands over their head, remember? They, and yeah, they yeah. walk around with their hands over their head. Yeah. So it's great, well, what's too. What's great is like, I want you like, there's our guy. Yeah. <laughs> We also get CBS and yeah, Annie, yeah. so we know. We know. How'd, so, how'd the other five die? Uh, they were walking around just like you are now. How'd the warden die? He got greedy, wanted undercover boss money, too. So. 
<laughs> yeah, they shanked him in less than sixty Isn't seconds. Crazy, they had one camera like to the left and one camera to the right, and he's he's talking like this to undercover boss, and he turns the other way, and then he's in sixty days in because yeah. he, he's the warden, so right. he's in both shows. Yeah, I'm, du- I'm double dipping that sweet sweet doc docu series profit. Yeah. <laughs> docu series. Hey, I got to be honest with you. This is going to put my kids through college. We're good. We're good. <laughs> but then at the end, it's like I actually wasn't. Uh, I actually wasn't Jimbo. <laughs> I was the warden. When oh oh am I am I gonna you're not getting a raise. Yeah. So don't Yeah, when they reveal themselves. Yeah. So imagine he did that to the prisoners. I'm not actually I'm not and, and he goes yeah. and then he's like he's like, You're not getting paroled. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what? Thinking back, I should have done this in my office. <laughs> <laughs> right. Not the activity room. Right, right. Well, if you could all put yeah. the chairs down, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would appreciate let's, it. Let's uh let's cut on this one. Yeah. We're going to reset up somewhere else. <laughs> Someone please clap that thing. Yeah. We are done. Clap it. <laughs> well, I was like an undercover boss, though. They walk into, like, clearly, like, a CEO's, CEO's office or, like, a conference room that, like, the C-suite would have been using. Yeah. And they're like, Jimmy! <laughs> uh, it turns out I'm not Jimmy. <laughs> I'm actually Alfred E. Newman, the CEO of this company. Get out of town, Jimmy! Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I totally thought you were or, Jimmy. Or they're like, well, who are you? I'm in the CEO, CEO's office. Who do you think I am? Right, yeah. They didn't They didn't just go, we got an office free. It yeah. belongs to the big guy. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. You know, he's seldom here. Just do a favor. Don't put your feet on the desk. It's all good, you know? Jimmy! Yeah, but I really I really thought, you are you are right. A lot of times they do, they greet the guy, especially an undercover boss. Yeah, they do. They, they greet that guy. Oh, it's hysterical. And it's like, first off, and I realized, like, uh, they had a guy that did it twice. And he owns uh, Diamond Properties or something. And he, so it's like resorts, okay? And he's like the second biggest one behind uh, the Queen of Versailles' husband, okay? Oh, yeah, Siegel. Yeah. yeah. So he's the second biggest one behind him. But anyway, uh, he went in, and so he's got on this long, like, stoner wig, and he puts on, you know, he's, he grows a, like a, a, a beard, like a George Michael beard, you know what I mean? Yeah. So rest his soul. Uh, wake me up before you go-go. But anyway, uh, I will be honest with you. They, if you work for a company that big, you probably don't know what the owner looks like. Right. Okay. But if you're shooting a show with a new guy, okay, that they're following around because he wants to become a, 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 an entrepreneur of this world, wouldn't you Google what your owner looks like? Right. You, you know, wouldn't you be like, hey, you know what? He looks a lot like the guy that, yeah. that he's on the top of the pyramid when you look up about our company. Yeah. Like, oh, hey, Google, can you have that new AI art take this picture of my boss and make him a Scooby Doo villain? Right. That's the guy. That's him. That's him. Because that's the level of makeup with some of them. It's oh, I know. Like, and, and one of them, I remember one of them had like a full beard and they shaved down. It was like almost a Hitler mustache. It was between a porn mustache and a Hitler probably, mustache. Probably gave him a little like, you know. Yeah. And the little, yeah, the little wedge in the bottom. Yeah, a little the, wedge goatee. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not Hitler because he has a little wedge goatee down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is he did that. And I'm like, that's all you, cha- you didn't change your eye color with contacts. Yeah. You didn't do nothing else. You know? I mean, you know what else? I mean. It was Mr. Carruthers all along. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to rip that DB beard off and see who you really are, you know? <laughs> Wait a minute. Does it, do I really look like that? Yeah, you do. So, well, I'll be. Yeah. So, <laughs> so another thing. Um, I pulled out a new one for you. Didn't see that? Yeah, I know. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> and it went right in front of me. I saw it then. Boom. But, uh, uh, I, so I listen to uh, sports radio in the morning sometimes when I'm taking Chuck to school, and uh, they uh, play living weird... the life you never would have had. <laughs> yeah, they play weird commercials, right? <laughs> so well, I got to look on that. Man. <laughs> you would have seen it too. The wall wasn't here. Hey. Everybody knows my whole life. I've been an athletic supporter. That's what I do. All right. So closest thing you've been to a jock for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they play this uh, commercial for it's an, for an Amish furniture store. Okay, but. This is what it says in quotes. Now is the time to build that she shed or add that home office. Are they so apparently it's the same thing? They put the home office in the she shed, you know what I mean? So it's outside. Uh, it says, We do gravel or concrete, heating and air conditioning, and all the electrical needed. Again, it starts with, We're an Amish furniture store. I, I'm sure it's constructed beautifully. Yeah. You, you think they're putting like a, like a water well? A water wheel outside. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, is there a windmill? Yeah. Is there a windmill? And at the same time, do I really want an Amish electrician at my house? I mean, I don't know that those things go together. Yeah, that does seem kind of oxymoron. You know, I mean, how many times does Ebenezer take 120 <laughs> to the fingertips before he realizes this don't work? You know what I mean? 
<laughs> it, it's just kind of crazy. And I bet his beard's flammable. Right. But uh, but no, th- they said that. And it, in reality, I thought where we live, because this is a local company. So it's not a it's not a big chain. It's a local company. Why if would they want to make a podcast desk? Yeah. <laughs> They probably do, and they will wire it up for you as well. But uh, but I just thought, we're coming into wintertime. You're going to put a shed outside. you know? Because, again, if they're going to have power, they're going to have to run it underground and do all that. You're not going to be able to do all that stuff. Where we live, it's not conducive to do that. But that was their ad that they paid for airtime for was, we're an Amish furniture company. We have electricians. We sell furniture, and yeah. that's all. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, no, that seems like a weird spin. Like, why wouldn't they... Like if I'm thinking I want to shed like a uh, an outbuilding, yeah, I'm not thinking Amish furniture. Right, it's not it's not my go to. It's not my go to. What did he put up there? I was trying to read it, but then he made it like there are three super Amish small. electricians or what? There are Amish electricians. Yeah, there are. You know, I I'm gonna I'm gonna have a stroke if you keep. Uh, yeah, this is super. Dead. <laughs> he, so what he's doing is is he's taking it and blowing it up, and then he's bringing it back. Go down, back. Like, go oh, back. that was fuzzy. And go then back he's one up page. Again. Go back one page. Go back to where it was black. We could probably read at least the headline off it. But it's funny because he's like inducing a seizure at the table. <laughs> so Amish not- electricians are rare, but they certainly exist and possibly grow as the Am- Amish adopt wind and solar. Oh, so your windmill okay, thing so, wasn't that wasn't okay. that far off. Okay, but but solar too. You want right. to put solar on top of there, and it's all. Then yeah. I get it. You know. But uh, but no, I just I found that so hot. I'm like, if you send an Amish electrician to my house, I'm probably gonna look at him and be like, nah, you know, I'll try it myself. No. You know, we'll see yeah. what happens. <laughs> so, oh, I'm 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 sorry, Gabriel. The uh, yeah. <laughs> the barn raisings on Thursday. Correct. Yes. That, and I'm surprised that's not what they call it, a shed raising. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll come over for shed raising. All right. You have like 47 guys there. They can't even all get their hand on the shed. You know, <laughs> it's an eight by ten. It's an eight by ten. What are we doing? Um, but again, to uh, to promote that this time of year uh, seems kind of weird before we live. And again, we live in Illinois, so it is uh, it is cold, very and cold. How right many? Now. And I don't I don't want to disparage the the audience, but how many people listening to sports radio in the morning are throwing up a uh, a she shed, a she shed <laughs> slash home office <laughs> right, in their backyard? Right. <laughs> You're definitely correct. So, and yeah, to say she shed, uh, no. No, unless that's the uh, that might be like the. Uh, I, I, I don't understand that garbage. Just, just it's a shed. It, it's a shed. It doesn't have. And to, if you want to decorate it, decorate yeah, it. It doesn't it, have to. It be doesn't a, have to have an identity, right? Well, it's, that's like when uh, because people come over and my basement's finished. They're like, oh, you got cave? a man cave, yeah. yeah. And I'm like, you know, um, somebody even bought me a sign. I think that says this is Damon's man cave, and I put it up. But it's like I don't refer to it as that. You know yeah. what I mean? Because the whole family uses it. It's not a. It's not like, hey, to me, a man cave. sounds like, er, I go down, er, yeah. basement. Rrr. You bring me food an hour. I'm hungry, <laughs> you know. That's not how you talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who we fooling? Bring me food now. Oh, yeah, when, he gets, when he gets hungry, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, sound, I, I sound like a drunk cookie monster. <laughs> Ooh, we'll bring, you bring me food. Uh, yeah. So let's do it. Let's do a couple fun facts. Um, I don't know if we did this one before. If I read it and you say, yeah, we did, then I will skip over it. But I... I we might have a long, long time ago. In 2017, a man didn't want to pay for a ticket to get into the Chinese zoo. Just tell me if this rings a bell. While the rest of his family decided to go buy tickets, he scaled the wall to get in. He ended up in a tiger enclosure and was promptly eaten. Well, that sounds- we definitely covered tiger attacks. Yeah, we. we well, did. I was like, well, it yeah, sounds but I don't, familiar. I don't think it was this. Yeah, specific- I don't think it was this. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine. So first off, imagine the the family's dismay to find out dad's dead. Okay, and and probably consumed. Right. You know what I mean. So you're not. This is not an open casket affair. You know what I mean. Uh, but then also imagine their despair when Dad got in long before them, and they missed well, all the tiger activity that happened. I was gonna say he got to see the tigers up close. <laughs> <laughs> he got a tiger enclosure experience. Yes. Yeah. The the zoo probably needs to pay them because you know. Yeah. The show it, that was put on for everybody watching. Right. No, was, was it that? But they also like. Yeah. I'm assuming tiger feed is expensive. <laughs> That money should go to the family. Hey, look, I watch Tiger King. It's not expensive. They use old rancid meat. They keep in not co- yeah. uh, air conditioned trailers and and the arms of people that work there. Correct. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right. By the way, I think that guy's very unhealthy and like going to die in prison. So, but um, uh, what you call it, uh, Carol Baskin? Damn her, <laughs> <laughs> Carol Baskin. <laughs> so, but I, I thought that that that's still. I don't know how many people are in his family because it says rest of the family. So. Again, if I and I'm not I'm not trying to be sexist here, but 
But if I'm the man of the house, let's say I'm the man of the house, because I'm probably not at my <laughs> it's house. It's always, Mac, yeah. it's always great when I'm not trying to be blank here. <laughs> but. but yeah, I'm but, not okay. saying. Oh, you got ahead of me on that. I am yeah. not saying this. But if I were saying this, no, but my point is, is don't you have a little bit of control over some of the funds in your house? So are you like just going, look, dad's getting in for free. You know what I mean? And you're telling them? Or are you? Are, well, was that the plan like on the way to the zoo? Or when they got there, they were like, wait a minute. We only have enough. For I didn't six realize tickets. that they raised the prices. <laughs> this I, is this is outrageous. I will not stand for it. I will meet you at the Tigers. <laughs> we'll meet. I up. will meet you in the Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you right. say in? <laughs> Did, you mean in the Tiger Den? Uh, well, I, that's what I hope. Yeah, yeah. Look, we're hoping. Fingers crossed. You know, first thing they ate was his cross fingers. <laughs> Tiger comes up and just like, and they're like, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Is that yeah. Is that Dad's cologne? Right. Well, what it is, he soiled himself as <laughs> yeah, soon as the yeah. tiger came up. They're like, I mean, I knew Dad's cologne was called Tiger's Breath, but I didn't <laughs> know it was that on the nose. In his pocket yeah. and the charge <laughs> laying on the ground. Can we at least get a cell phone? Yeah, it's like, an iPhone someone 14. Calls, someone calls Dad, and the tiger's like stomach just. <laughs> burr, burr, He's got to vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, good news, bad news. We found Dad's phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> and there. <laughs> How long ago did this happen? Twenty seventeen. All right. Twenty seventeen. But yeah, it's just it's just amazing. What? Were you like going to fact check it? <laughs> this happened in nineteen thirty six. There were like, no cell we phones. <laughs> it would have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sarah, get soon. me my father. <laughs> I'm gonna call the switchboard and see if they'll put me through. <laughs> hey, Maybell, this is this is Uncle Jesse calling to you down from the farm. Right, right. Is that your shoulder, Mac? <laughs> you dropped my phone. You, you have recently made brides cry, and you're like, uh, "Are we laughing at someone's death? How dare we? Yeah. How do we find this humorous? Did I ever tell you about the time I made a bride cry at her own wedding? <laughs> It wasn't 2017. It was eight minutes ago. Listen, never tell you about the time. I, did I ever tell you about the time I talked mad smack to also, a guy getting arrested? Also, this, <laughs> he's, he's two for two. Hey, do you guys remember the HBO theme? Do, 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 do. Hey, is this the HBO theme? <laughs> In 2017, a man... Ha- Wait, when did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope you get a sack of so, attentiveness. I can't wait to buy your uh, your autobiography, Max. So, uh, selective listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> These are stories I think happened to me. <laughs> after every paragraph, I go, wait, did that happen? <laughs> just after every paragraph. You know, it's just the same chapter over and over again. <laughs> chapter seven. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> chapter 11 is, wait, what? Wait, did I do that one already? <laughs> <laughs> All right, stop me if you heard this. <laughs> and tell me if I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So here we'll go to the next fun fact. No one's getting killed in this one. Uh, in Singapore, not flushing a public toilet after you've used it is considered a crime. I, uh, that needs to go everywhere. In my house. That needs to be an international yeah. law. But in Singapore, you, you maybe get hung. That's true. I don't know. You might get your hands cut Let, off. Let's, let's, we, can, we can barter on <laughs> they the might uh, punishment. Soap, they might soap your b-hole so you can't do it again. I don't know what they're going to do. You would do it again, though. Yeah. <laughs> foop, foop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He popped the stitches again. He really had to go. <laughs> I uh, now this is my fault for going into a restroom in this in this place, and I can say it because there's I think there's three left in the country. Kmart. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It looked like a lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> there were so many different layers of poop. Yeah. <laughs> like that was not from one person, right? But the best part is, how are you the third or fourth person to be like, well, I guess it's where I go. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, at least I know it won't splash. I was on a job site a long time ago. And they had a they had a porta john, and so I walk in the porta john one day, and it's up over the seat, <laughs> and I'm going, okay, at least fifteen people made the decision, <laughs> right, that this is happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least that's out. <laughs> yeah. Like that's you're. It's implied that this is this container is just going to hold this stuff until someone takes right. it away. Right. In a, a, a fully plumbed toilet. Yeah, that's not what you're expecting to right. see. Well, but also in a porta john where it has nowhere to go, you're not you're not crapping self leveling floor <laughs> well, material. It doesn't just find voids and go down. It stays in a pile. I was just gonna say someone just giving a shake. <laughs> Smooth out the pyramid. But but I'm saying, how creative do you have to be? Because you're not sitting down. You know what I mean? It has crested. You are not sitting down. No, I if I were you, I would have found the guy that came out right before you and be like. 
you have got the st- <laughs> like your legs are impressive because <laughs> you know they Johnny bench that or right. you know. yeah oh for sure yeah full catcher stance yeah 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 for sure but no I I was like fifteen people made the decision <laughs> it was still okay and you know the porter john company when they came they're like. We're just going to pick the whole thing up, and we're going to take it and get it and burn it, okay? Yeah. We're not going to try and pump this thing out. Uh, <laughs> we're going to fire this one into the sun. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, so it is so a crime. So what are we talking about? A oh, crime, yeah, Singapore. Crime in Singapore. Right, yeah. yeah, and it's for a public, public toilet. I wonder if I could make that a law in my house. That's what I'm saying. It needs to be international. Yeah. Yeah, because, no, that's, that's a big, big no-no. My other favorite thing is when I see uh, one of my kids going in, like, my bathroom or the bathroom downstairs— and I'm like, what are you doing? They're like, well, our, our toilet's clogged. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's address the problem before. Because it took one of one of this many kids to clog said toilet. Let's not just pick another one. You know, <laughs> If one of you is crapping bricks right now, uh, we need to solve the problem, you know? Well, yeah. And uh, like I said, Brown Friday. It's Brown Friday every day in my house. <laughs> so n- last one I have to ask you guys, because I, I don't know, because I've never had either. Uh, money makes you happier than therapy. I, money I, makes you happier than therapy. Yeah. Now, here's the deal. For, with the prices of therapy, I think I'd rather have the money. Yeah. So I, I understand. I, that would make me happier. I, I get it. But I've never I've never had either, I mean, so I, I don't know. I, I talked to an individual, like forced talk to an individual in a dark room one hour a week as it is. Yes. And I don't enjoy that at all. What? So I would much rather have the money. What, when do you do that? Oh, it's, it's, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, it's Saturday mornings. <laughs> oh, oh, after we meet up? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want? What do you want to hear? <laughs> yeah. What, what's the right answer? What, what's the answer that'll just make you stop asking me the question? <laughs> hey, do you want to go to the Chinese zoo and get in free? I know a way. <laughs> <laughs> you just see yeah, my sneaks. Like call up China and tell them they're going to need a couple tigers. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. Do you, hey, do you want to? Do you want leftovers, or do you want it all gone? You might. How many tigers you got? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many tigers you got? So, so yeah. I honestly, and it don't. I mean, require... I mean, I don't want it. Like some people, I get it. They they need to talk. To, and some of you listening probably should talk to someone. And that's not for us. Uh, do you? Oh yeah. And I'm not picking a mental health. But, I'm saying yeah, that actual therapy. Just yeah. give me the money. Yeah. Yeah. I. I you know, because they say oh, money money yeah. doesn't buy happiness, but it can sure yeah. rent it for a little while. And I'm sure most of you, uh, if you're listening to this the the day it comes out, I'm sure most of you could use that after yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> having to spend all day with your family. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Maybe you take some of that Christmas card money and you go to therapy. What you know what you I mean? Still get Christmas card money? Huh? You don't? What am I a farmer? <laughs> See what it is, is they send you Christmas card money when they don't want to come to your house. They're like, oh, hey, I sent you a gift. It's, it should be the right size. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wear a 50. That yeah. works, you know. <laughs> How'd you know? Well, I mean, yeah, you're, we talking belt? Or? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That was garbage. Yeah. That was, uh, you, were, you were a pile of garbage. You were a little too close to yeah. home on that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Something sting. So uh, let's do a TCO sells it for you, Okay. This is uh, one of my favorites because um, it's not as good as as the therapy last last time. That was that was really good. Oh yeah, yeah. A couple times ago when it was like if if my if this camper was my brother, you know, it was like my brother need therapy. But this is a 20, yeah. 2013 Buick. It's Regal. not a camper. Yeah. He's my brother. <laughs> but it's a twenty thirteen Buick Regal, and they have this is what gets me. They have a price of a hundred dollars. Okay. I love the free or like $1. Yeah. 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 So it says driven 100,000 miles, automated transmission, listed the last four days in Hammond, Indiana. Right. Now you go down about this vehicle. Oh, it's imported. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, la la. Fragile. So about this vehicle, it's a GS sedan, four door. Cool. It's driven 100,000 miles. Cool. It goes through all the things. It gets 19 miles per gallon city, 27 highway. Now let's go to the description. Uh, Plesser read, okay. Uh, which, uh, I, uh, yeah, I think they were, were going with please read. Please read, but they did not say Plesser read. Yeah, sure. so please read 2.0 turbo parts car only. Ran and drives great. So it did run. <laughs> it's missing parts now. Yeah. Still drives great. I just want you to know, okay? Um, why did we say it only has 100,000 miles and it gets great gas mileage if we're selling parts right. off the car? And it gets better. So it says bumpers sold, left headlight sold. Now, if you need a left, we're all out, but we got a right. Okay. Wheels perfectly 650. 
I don't. So that means, is that like, is that his way of saying firm? <laughs> <laughs> 650, perfectly. That is a perfect price. I'm not budging. Your butt is perfectly. Uh, does that mean firm? What are you saying? Uh, in a different way. It's different. <laughs> it's different. It's different that way. But uh, <laughs> you look at me. Your butt, perfectly, 650. <laughs> Just your butt. Um, doors. And it says dash F, 125, R, 100. This is my favorite one. Finders. I believe he wanted to buy an E. Yeah. Okay. He was out. He was out of ease. He used it in wheels and perfectly. Yeah, he did. <laughs> but does that mean the front right door is $225? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If we're, I know yeah. he's going front and rear, but yeah. F and R is like the front right door. Do I add those together or do I pick which one I want to pay? Yeah. Yeah. And again, do those doors get good gas mileage? I just want to know. You wait, know? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Let's skip the uh, taillights. You going to the last one? I know. I mean, the interior is four hundred dollars. The interior, yeah, four hundred dollars. I've been pulling out the whole like thing. Like, what does that mean? The front seats, the back seats, both the seats. Do I get? <laughs> do I get the console? Do I get the dashboard? What does interior mean for four hundred? Do I really pull out the whole thing as a unit? Yeah. <laughs> I don't get what that means. But the taillights are seventy five dollars each. The last no, one, the last one, trunk lead. Yeah, trunk lead. L e a d. So uh, you yeah. know what? You know what I like the most about that whole thing? Huh. There's a place where I can click that says "see less." <laughs> there is. Please. So anyway, what do you think that means, trunk lead? Uh, I'm I mean, guessing you finders. Clearly, you've you've cracked the code, Columbo, and you got fenders. But I think he's mean a trunk lid. But, oh, he's talking about the deck lid. Yeah, got probably it. the right. deck lid. Yeah. But it's L E A D, trunk lead, trunk lead. However you want to say it, you know. <laughs> there you get there. There's some just dude like buried in lead in his trunk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this just a long con to get us to take away the body you have in your trunk, sir? <laughs> trunk lead. I only drive the car in reverse. That's why it's trunk lead. Holy I'm just cow. letting you know. But no, so I I hope he sells his his Buick Regal for a hundred dollars. That's gone a hundred thousand miles. It gets pretty good gas mileage. Yeah. Um, and then, like I said, you get to the bottom and it's plus a read, uh, cause it's one word, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And, and, and not only that, but it says turbo parts car only ran and drives great. How many parts? So you haven't pulled anything off it. The, you still cruise it around. No left door, no front of no bumpers. Yeah. No bumpers, you know, just a trunk lead. That's all I got. Oh man. I was going to go for a bumper finder combo. <laughs> so someone buys the interior and the next guy goes, I want to drive this. Damn it! Get a bucket. Yeah. You know we're gonna we're gonna be fine. So anyway, I hope he sells it. And I hope we. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Like if you have a uh, like a Hot Wheels car and you take it apart, like the interior piece is just right, one right. unit. Yeah, is that what he's like? Does yeah. he think that's how cars work? <laughs> I can't get it out. It does. It's attached. It's welded in. I can't get it out. So it's still four hundred dollars. Yeah. Still, still is that any part of the interior is four hundred dollars? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wait, that guy got all four seats. And all I got was the console in the middle lid. And the, the, the lead. All I got was a console lead. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm paying four hundred dollars for that too. Yeah. I just need the left visor. That'll be four hundred dollars. <laughs> so it's interior. So read the fine print. So anyway, good luck selling that, brother. Good luck. Yeah. That's well, uh, I, and good luck to the educational system of Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> I just love finders. I think you meant to buy an E. I think that's what you were trying to do. I'll solve the puzzle. Yeah. All he's got left one. Finders. Uh, it's, sir, it's, you it's saw that a, the other E was at the end, right? Yeah, it's not a, It's not in front of the car. It's not in front of the car. Uh, 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 just so you know, Jerry, E was already on the puzzle. <laughs> we would have turned them both. Had they been. <laughs> yeah, he guessed it. He, he goes, oh, I'd like to buy an E. They turned the first one. Finders. Can you wait? The other, you see, if you look at Vanna, it's lit up. She's going to walk yeah. there. Had she been going from left to right, you yeah. might have had a chance. <laughs> yeah. If she was in the NBA, she would have been able to reach both of them simultaneously. But she's not that long when she stretches you know out. So. On, on a tangent, I like as a society, we've just accepted that she comes with the show. She went from having to physically walk across and turn a uh, a box that someone had dropped letters in, you know, between puzzles, to now she just walks by and taps a corner. Like it's like she's trying to like turn on her smartphone. Right. And we've all just been like, yeah, Vanna's necessary for this show. <laughs> we've None of us have been like, just go home. Well, but at one point in go time. Go home and sleep well, Vanna. Yeah. You've done your work. She was the, at one point in time, she was the eye candy of the show. But now it's like you're. Now she keeps candy in a dish on her, <laughs> yeah. uh, on her coffee table. She's got hard candy in her pocket. <laughs> right. Here you go. You want a butterscotch? Who wants a butterscotch? Oh, bless your heart. <laughs> 
<laughs> Finders? You were so close, dear. You were so close. Do you want a butterscotch or a Werther's? <laughs> I've got both. So let's do, no. let's do, That's so awesome, man. <laughs> uh, please address all letters to Audio High Podcasting Studio. Yes, that's correct. Unit F. <laughs> I like how you said letters because people that find that offensive are right. going to write letters. They're going to write letters. They don't send emails. They can't send emails. Yeah. They for sure can't, <laughs> can't tweet or, yeah. or twit or any of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So let's do TCO of the week. TCO of the week. Yeah. I like how you end that. That's pretty solid. No problem. It's better than you singing it a couple weeks ago. I was like, ah, I wasn't buying that. So anyway. Never going to give, never going to give. <laughs> <laughs> Your kids are going to love it. <laughs> so this is the headline. Caught stealing during Walmart's shop with a copy event. Is it Jane's addiction? Yeah. <laughs> Once when I was five. There you go. Yeah. Nailed so, it. All right. So I did. I stopped listening to tell my joke. What was the thing? Yeah. It was caught stealing during Walmart's shop with a copy event. <laughs> okay. But, but. Did they steal at Target knowing that all the cops are at Walmart? Because that's a brilliant move. That's Ocean's 41. <laughs> it is. And since it's all Florida, the cops are at Walmart, we're taking down Target. And since it's Florida, it's got oceans on both sides. Because <laughs> it says every year a Walmart store in St. Cloud, Florida, does their shop with a cop event. Apparently not everyone got the memo. A man just known as Brad. So we don't even want to give your last name, Brad, yeah. because this is very embarrassing. Okay. Say um, your full legal name for the court, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> right. Don't you? No, no, it's not worth it. I'm like Cher. I go by one. I just go by yeah. one name. I'm Sting. You know, I'm not a verb, but I, it, Brad. In high know. school, I went by B-Rad, but yeah. <laughs> I grew up. It's just Brad now. That was the 80s. I wore my hat backwards. Tie-dyed. It was fun. It was fun. So anyway, uh, a man just known as Brad decided that he'd try stealing from the very store on that very same day. Since the store was filled with close to 40 deputies at the time, <laughs> Brad, what aisle were you in that you did not see a cop? Yeah. Okay. And they attempted the heist. There was no shortage of backup to help foil the crime. So when said, say, say the Walmart security guy comes up to you, which normally they won't till you leave the store because they, you can always say you're going to buy it when you're in the store. So say the Walmart guy says, I'm going to call a cop. And then he just pages over yeah. head. No. I need a cop, any cop from right. in the store. I'm gonna, 40 of them. Come. I'm going to call a cop. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> attention, Walmart yeah. shoppers. Uh, attention, Walmart shoppers. Could any of you that is not Brad, please turn around <laughs> and look at Brad. Thank you. And then they have to do that. Because <laughs> yeah. no one can hang up one of those phones. Yeah, right. Slam, bam. So, well, you know why? Because they all have they all have cell phones. They're they're younger people. Oh yeah, they all, yeah. They never had I, a phone with a cord. You ever you remember we used to have a phone with a cord and you'd actually hang it up? Uh, if you didn't hang up first, you slid it to your ear. You hated the person that hung up first. Yeah, because inevitably they juggled it off of plastic the floor and then put it on the on the post. I had to teach kids how to use the phone at the G Center. I believe it. <laughs> and, and it was the same. Like you're not supposed to. Because we use the intercom, you know, and you're not yeah. supposed to give, we call it the Kmart click, the like all that. It's like, yeah. no, please, there's a button, hit the off button first, then hang up the phone. Yep. Right. Yeah, for sure. We always had to do that too. We page of the dealership or something. You hit the, uh, you hit the off yeah, button. It's you know? the same thing. It's like, you, it, it didn't go through. Did you dial one first? Well, why? Because, yeah. you know, cell phones are that for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is a dumb phone. Yeah. You have to do everything for it. We were talking uh, talking last night with somebody, and I says, my kids will never understand what it means when you have to press A three times to get the letter C. Oh, that's- You know what I mean? Stop doing my- Why are you doing all my bits on the podcast, <laughs> man? I, I've never listened to your act, so I really don't well, know. Well, that, I mean, yeah. no one has, so that yeah. checks out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will tell you the rest of the, how that bit works out for me, but you, you're, you're dancing dangerous. Oh, yeah. But no, I, I'm just saying they will never know that. They will not know that struggle. You know, uh, they can easily go because the oh the one girl she said I had a BlackBerry. I said that was perfect for back in the day for doing emails and sending text. I said because my kid and that's what I came up. Yeah, with. I said because my kid will never know the T nine. Yeah, that's the, what it was. Cause yeah. had All right, so let's let's do a strange story. All right, all right. Strange oh. stories. <laughs> nice, nice, <laughs> perfect size. So uh, <laughs> you've never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> and where and where can they find us, Ted? <laughs> You always want to end on that. Where can, you have a subpoena. Uh, so, oh, I always want to end with, and Damon, how was your week? And then you go, <laughs> Ted, where can they find us? And I can go home. <laughs> All right, we are doing a strange story. Yeah. TSA finds cat in checked baggage. You won't believe what its owner said. 
uh, I did not pack all my bags today. You see, you don't know that. You 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 don't fly. So when you're like, have your bags been with you all day? Have or? your bag like they, they don't ask this as much as they used to, but closer to to uh, 2000 and uh, 2001 they would be. Uh, did you pack your bags? Have your bags been with you? You know, has anyone been near your bags? Which that was like that was the last one. Has anyone you don't know been near or in your bags? Like, yeah, I stood uh, lying. I've been with them the whole time. <laughs> Um, that'd be very weird if I was like, oh, I didn't notice someone taking my bag from my hand, unzipping it, putting something weird in it, zipping it back up and sliding it back into my hand. Just say thanks. I'm just putting this right back in your hand. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Anyone ask any questions? It's been in your hand the whole yeah. time. You pack yeah. this bag. You know all <laughs> about it. It's never left your side. So what did the owner say about that? <laughs> yeah. Cut, so, found, caught in the bag. So we're going to go through the story here. A sneaky feline. Tried to have a little Thanksgiving getaway. Wait, was it a tiger from China? <laughs> I got to get out of this country. <laughs> it was a Thanksgiving getaway. I am wanted for murder. It was a Thanksgiving giveaway, so, or getaway. So after his nap, he, it's like, yeah. hey, so who do you think ate the thing? And you see, yeah. there's there's Tony the tiger over there just crashed out, you know? <laughs> They're great. <laughs> there's an obvious joke there, but you're going to yell at me if I make it. You don't. So anyway. <laughs> don't tell me you're hungry again. I don't want to hear yeah, it. That's exactly where I was going. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Knew exactly. <laughs> Knew exactly. So it says uh, he, he had a little Thanksgiving getaway until he was discovered by TSA agents. The orange cat was discovered. So now it sounds like Garfield. Yeah, I was just saying Garfield or Heathcliff, depending he, on which side. Yeah, was he holding also, a lasagna? I'm also, I'm, also, I'm also skeptical that the TSA found anything because those people do nothing but, <laughs> but laugh at people in the see-through x-ray machine. That's all they do. Yeah. And yell at people, uh, we told you to take everything out of here. What is this one like you know nickel here for? I yeah. don't, bro, bro, I'm taking the plane down with a nickel. There, you got me. There's you a, got me. Yeah. So it says uh, the orange cat was discovered at New York's JFK uh, International Airport on Tuesday morning. After an agent spotted some orange hair poking out of the zipper of the suitcase. <laughs> uh, is that carrot type you got in there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, Sir, that had better be a cat, because if I see another merkin in these... Look, that's when you just go, hey, if it's carrot type, just not. I'm going to let you go. Yeah. All right? <laughs> hey, uh, if this is carrot type, just put it in some place there isn't oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna can, have to check that bag. Yeah. <laughs> can he can he breathe in there? No. Okay, then you're good. We're not gonna open it. We're good. We're good. So it's yeah. Just, and then Max shows up, like, ask him if he's had any carrots. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like carrots. I'm just eating the green beans. Yeah. <laughs> See, Mac, we pay attention to your stories. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. So it says a spoke. Per- I talk like five percent as much. It'd be a very weird podcast if we just sat here and talked as much as you did. We're all uh, we're all very appreciative of that too. Yeah. I don't, just say, look, it's easier hey, to remember. Hey, Christmas miracle. Yeah. It is a merry Christmas. Things we're thankful for. Let's run them down. Gotta make a count. Have yourself a quiet little Christmas. So it says the spokesperson for the TSA told the post that the traveler was not aware he had a cat in his luggage. So the spokesperson Lisa Farbstein said in a statement that the agent was shocked, in quotes, by the furry discovery in the luggage, which had been checked and x-rayed. Now I have a picture. <laughs> I, listen, when this comes out, I will share this picture. But what's I funny like is... I should have been paying attention just What's now. funny is, it is a heat... It is, is since, since it's a heat-related picture, the cat shows up completely orange as well on the, on the x-ray. So it is oh, very, wait. very cool. Is, huh? is there a way you could turn it so Matt can see it? Huh? Well, can you, I don't I don't know if he what can it? see that or not. You're not gonna see that. Yeah, but like, do the thing with your fingers. Yeah, you're not. You're not. That's the cat in the top. Uh, no, no, no. You're not gonna see it. So uh, man, not from here, across no. the room, looking at a screen. <laughs> of a screen. <laughs> He's trying to look around the corner. Yeah. Look at the camera, man. Look at the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> All I see is this white wall. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I boxed you guys in. I can't see nothing. I hate this wall. So it says. No, it looks like a prototype of battle cat. <laughs> yeah, but it says. Traveler said the cat belonged to someone else in the household. Um, in a picture accompanying the tweet, tufts of ginger fur were poking out of the black suitcase between the gaps in the orange That'd zipper. Right there, huh? Yeah. I'm like trying to say, like, where, where in this picture? Would oh you no, have... the, the cat's butt is right up against where the zipper yeah. would be. So it says uh, TSA. We're letting the cat out of the bag on this historic. You know, this find. is a I, right. I, we, I, we have to scrub this whole. St- give me a new one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Whole story. Wait, wait to hear the wait to hear the next one. JFK Airport saying, Come on, meow. That's the picture, Mac, you just showed me. Yeah. Where I almost <laughs> That's died. the picture. Yeah. yeah. So it says yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> you they, me like, they, wait saying, a minute. It's, like, it's an orange cat. It's like, 
<laughs> this is a magical picture from inside there. No, it's heat related, and yeah. it shows up red and orange. That so cat looks pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so you should probably just leave it in the bag. <laughs> yeah. But it said uh, they confirmed the cat did not belong to the traveler, and now it's back where it belongs. Uh, on the bright side, the cat's out of the bag and safely back home, he joked. Ha, ha, ha. Meanwhile, when tracked down by the post, the kitty's owner said the furball name smells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. <laughs> I would not wear any of those clothes until you wash them. I'm just letting you know right now. Why? That cat is smells. Oh, there's a picture of him. There's a picture of him actually finding it and opening the suitcase, apparently from like a, a closed camera. But it says smells must have crawled into their house guest bag while he was while she was at work. She didn't realize the orange tabby was missing until she got a ring from the airport official. Now, let me tell you something right now. I'm looking at it, and I'll put up this picture too. We're looking at a picture where they open the suitcase and discover the cat's in there. I don't know how this guy could have zipped his suitcase. Right. And not seen. I'm telling you right now, the guy knew this, and he. It, this was either a practical joke gone wrong. Yeah. You know, but again, it, it doesn't yeah, sound like right, they had any trouble. The way, how close it is to the zipper, like, did I pack a carpet? Yeah. So when I close the zipper and heard it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Was that, uh, what was that from? You know? Uh, but it says an officer called and asked if I wanted to press charges against her 37-year-old guest. Mac has found a follow-up story which says, smells the cat presented with a Thanksgiving spread after TSA rescue from suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, look, the cat got a tasting oh. of wine from Olive Garden. So get this. He wanted to know if there was any reason for trying to steal my cat and go to Florida. The guy was from this every, you know what, you know what I'm weird? You know the six degrees of bacon? It's yeah. one degree of now, Florida. I did tell you why why we hear all these stories. Yeah. It's because there's no law against putting these directly into the news feed in Florida where other states, like, you can't, like, they, they don't release all that information. Like, a journalist would have to know gotcha. the story, go find it. Yeah. Where Florida just puts it all up out there and be like, hey, look at all, all our weirds down <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. So, have, did you uh, did you proof that and prove that it's real? Uh, sure. No, I just went to what? WTF, Florida. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> dot com. Yeah. So, it says, uh, now the cat's on the no-fly list. Okay. But our cats really like to check out bags and boxes. And apparently, one of them climbed in. So, this person has multiple cats. Uh, into his suitcase. It was just an accident, the owner said. No, th there's no way you zipped this suitcase and did not know. Yeah. Okay. And now, if it would have been on the other, like on the hinge side of the suitcase, maybe. Yeah. But that was literally half the cat was hanging out of that thing and they zipped it up. But let me just tuck this thing I don't remember putting in my suitcase in. Okay. Fast forward. This is a quote from the owner I was worried he'd be freaked out because he wasn't even meowing on the way back to the house. Uh, I went to give him some extra treats, and he acted like nothing happened. Uh, it's a cat. Yeah. Okay? You know what that cat did? It took a hellacious nap in a very warm, close... Yeah. There's now, a tough to Now, fur. that picture does look like there's a head in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but it, uh, it does say the TS agents often... Wait, go back to the picture, man. Uh, ...often get treated to peculiar finds. How are they zipping that up? There are no... Oh, get this! So it says they're often uh, treated to a peculiar finds, and it says TSA agents in in a Florida airport found a firearm stuffed inside a whole uncooked chicken. That's that's how you transport. <laughs> yeah. you, you can buy a gun case. You know what I mean? Now, is that is that called stuffing or dressing? If you right. find it inside <laughs> right. the right, right. So, but a, a a firearm stuffed inside a whole uncooked chicken. That's that is absolutely amazing. Can you imagine you, if you forgot. And put it in the oven. Okay. Could you imagine when you... <laughs> not even that. Pow. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> Chicken's done. done. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was thinking the other way. Like, you have to defend yourself, and you have this chicken on your hand <laughs> as you're aiming it at the bad guy. You know what I mean? Pretty it's, sure I saw that in Jackie Chan movie. Yeah. Now Is you it really? ask yourself, punk. Yeah. <laughs> have I fired one? <laughs> or yeah. five? <laughs> Do I have two legs and two yeah. wings, or do I have more? <laughs> Ask yourself, do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? <laughs> By the way, this chicken's uncooked. <laughs> you know, it's like, so, hey. Go ahead. No, yeah. Make my flambe. If I don't hit you, you'll still get salmonella. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just slowly, like, wipes the chicken on the guy's <laughs> face. Just, just quietly and disturbingly. He's, he's that close. He's got yeah. the chicken to his head. Yeah. And he just wipes it across his forehead. Right, no, right across his lips. Just, <laughs> just like spreads the lips with a beak. 
You're dead. You're dead either way. It doesn't matter if I hit you or not. You're you, gonna... you've been clucked. <laughs> <laughs> you, sir, are completely clucked. <laughs> wow. And the guy's like, if you could just shoot me, I'm so tired yeah, of listening yeah. to your puns. You know, he just he just reaches over and pulls the trigger himself. <laughs> Squeeze the guy's hand. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> or he sticks his finger through the neck of the chicken like they do in cartoons <laughs> and blocks the barrel of the gun. I'm not scared. I've had a shot. What? I had a flu shot. That doesn't stop salmonella, chief. <laughs> <laughs> or subsonic lead. <laughs> Right. Yeah. It doesn't make you bulletproof. I don't know what you're thinking. Look, I had a flu shot too. I stepped on a nail, hurt like hell. I think this bullet's going in. All right. Yeah. Oh, you hooked up for tetanus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then your backup is you just throw one of those little pitchfork rakes behind him. So when he steps back, hits him in the back of the head. It's like, oh yeah, you're not getting away from me. Yeah. I have I have this elaborate ruse going. <laughs> You know what I would say? That's cool, but are you going to eat that? <laughs> Where can they find us, Ted? You can find us at thatchecksout.net. All the socials, that checks out. WDT, which stands for With Damon and Ted. Don't forget that That Checks Out is a TCO Productions. We record for you here at Audio High Podcasting Studio. Come down and talk to Mac. Do your own podcast. He'd love to see you. Love to have you check out the studio and get your own show going. We'll catch you next time. Don't forget... That checks out.net and all the socials. That checks out WDT. From Damon, this is Ted. Or we hope you had a wonderful holiday. If you listen to this day and dropped, otherwise, please listen to it the day until it comes out. Yeah, you should have listened. Yeah. Then it would have worked. It would have been a great, great, uh, you know, have a, have a good Don't holiday. forget to give us a review. You, if you give us a five star, whatever the top review is in any of the sites you go to, you can say whatever you want about us. That's the bet we're willing to make. Thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I thought you were going to say anything about Damon, but that's okay. Yeah. He goes, I vaguely remember this. Is this the HBO theme? He just said, I wish we had the HBO theme. Yeah. <laughs>